Okay, you're going to take your thumb on your right hand. You're going to take your pointer finger, your index finger in your right hand, you're gonna go like this, okay? Now, you're going to take your mouthpiece, if you have one, or you can just do fake mouthpiece. You're going to point it this way, sorry, not this way, <laughs> this way, don't point it this way, you can't get air out. This way, you're going to stick your thumb here, like this, and your index finger on top, and then with my extra fingers, I'm going to create just a cup, just like this. Does everybody see that? So when I play, too, my spit won't go as far, and also, I'm kind of like making my sound a little bit bigger, okay? So we always hold our mouthpiece like this when we buzz, okay? Never like this, never like this, any other way. It's always finger, thumb, and then cup around, okay? Looks good, guys. All right, now we're going to take our mouthpiece, and we've already done the straw. We did the straws last time, okay? We're gonna take our mouthpiece, and we're going to stick it on our hand like this. So everybody just do that. It's your own hand, it should be clean, you're okay? All right, now somebody raise your hand and tell me, what do you feel whenever your mouthpiece is just sitting on your hand like this? What do you feel? Yes, Kanel. That the uh, inside is shallow. The inside is shallow. What do you feel on your hand in terms of pressure? Do you feel a lot of weight on your hand? Or do you just feel something touching the top of your palm? What do you think? Mm -hmm. You do feel a little bit of weight, but is the mouthpiece doing this? Like, look, what am I doing to my mouthpiece right now? I'm pushing it down. I'm putting pressure on it. But when I just do this, what's happening? It's just sitting there. It's just sitting there. It's just touching my hand. The same idea goes for your mouthpiece when you put it on your face, okay? Just like we did with the straw before, when you put your mouthpiece to your face and you get that two-thirds top lip, one-third lower lip, you want to make sure that you're not pushing it in. So right now, can you tell that I'm pushing? Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. How about now? No, it's just touching my face, right? Sorry, I need to do it this way. So, this way, am I pushing or not pushing? Pushing. 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 How about now? No, not pushing. Not pushing, right. So, you don't want any pressure from the mouthpiece on you, okay? The mouthpiece comes to you, and then it just touches your lips, okay? So, I want everybody, if you have your mouthpiece, two fingers and a thumb, cup, you're going to put it on your lips. We're going to do two-thirds, one-third. You do need your shield if you have one, because we're going to try to buzz. Okay, remember we already did this with straw. We're doing without straw today, okay? If you missed that, we can do a quick thing later, okay? Two fingers and a thumb, air mouthpiece. If you don't have one, that's okay. All right, now you're going to stick your mouthpiece, just place it on your lips, and you're bringing the mouthpiece to you, not going to the mouthpiece. So I'm not gonna do this. I look silly, okay? I'm just gonna stick my mouthpiece right on my lips. And then I want two thirds upper, one third lower. So I don't want the mouthpiece right in the center. I want a little bit more on my top lip, okay? I'm just gonna wander on like real quick. Yeah, okay, you guys got it, good, looks good. Okay, good, all right. Now, without doing anything else with your mouthpiece, just leaving it on your lips, we're going to take a big deep breath, two counts, and I want you to just blow air through the mouthpiece, just like we did before with the straw, okay? So you're just gonna let the air, that's why we have the shields, so you're just gonna let the air go through the mouthpiece. Okay, ready? One, two, three, breathe, air, two, three, four. And I should hear the air, so it should sound like this if I have my mask on. Can y'all hear the air? Yeah. Yep, so I should hear, hear air from y'all. Even with the shields on, I should hear the air, okay? Ready? So let me hear air this time. Blow through the mouthpiece. Ready? One, two, breathe, breathe. Yeah, there you go. And then stop right there, good. Yeah, and then remember I always did two count breath because we talked about that, okay? So let's do that again. And this time I want everybody to take your mouthpiece off your mouth for a second. Say M. Mm -hmm. What happens when you say M? Our tiny. top lip moves. Your top lip comes down, right? Your bottom lip kind of moves, but not really. It's like a garage door. The floor is here, the garage door comes down. Okay, so your top lip is going to come down when you say M, and your lips are going to touch. Now, what creates sound? We've talked about this already. Vibration. Vibration. So what do we need our lips to do to create sound in this? Vibration. Vibrate. So how do we get them to vibrate? We have to have them? Close. Touching. They're going to close. They're going to touch, okay? So in our mouthpiece, we're going to start with air. So we're going to go two count breath. We're going to start with air, and we're going to just slowly bring our lips together, and we're going to see what happens, okay? Ready? All right, so if you have your mouthpiece, Two thirds, one third on your face. All right. We're gonna breathe for two counts. I'll count you off. 
Then we're going to start with air and then you're going to bring your lips together. So mainly that top lip comes down and let's see what happens, okay? Make sure your shield is down. Ready? Here we go, together. One, two, three, breathe. 